he's been through enough to know. That's my new theme song, really. Because in fact, ever since that I've been going through a lot here lately. I've, I've always wanted to sing that because the choir used to sing it like got no more. And I brought it back to my solo career, I think. Amen. And I want to say, did I mention I love you? Did I mention that he walked on the water? Peter was walking on the water. This is also this is not in my message, but I'm going to go off the topic for me. When I was when I mentioned that day, I walked on water. That this just came to me. Peter, some that I'm going to have to possibly have given to him that song that he sung last time to me. Peter, do you love me? It's talking about, that song he's talking about, he denied God three times. We deny God more than three times. But God gives them one more shot. If you don't know him, he needs you one more, you die more and more, he needs you one more shot. He draws you one more time. And if you tell him, no, I will not get saved. You know what he'll say? It's your choice. It's not us. I'm drawing you. I'm dealing with you. My first point of that message was she we it was she, but I'm gonna put Chris come in. I'm going to use me in my message. Chris, come in. Verses 1 and 2. And now, there was a certain woman of the wife of the sons of Elijah, the prophet Elijah. And saying that to that servant, my husband has died, is dead, and thou knowest that, that he, that ser thy servant did fear the Lord, and thy creditors are coming to, coming to take my two sons, into my two sons to be bondsmen. And Elijah said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell and uh, tell me what hath thou in the house? And she said, Thine handmaid have not anything in thy house. But Paul. That part of all is part of the Holy Spirit. If you don't have that, like that verse here, she had her. She came, I will see it. She had nothing. Elisha said to her, What do you have in the house? In thine house. And she said, I have nothing. But Paul Bull, you have something. That old. You have people say, "Oh, I'm empty." 
Is your gas empty? Is your Holy Spirit gas empty today? Well, if it, it's not, I can see that. If you if you didn't get blessings in the singing service part, let me just tell you something. If you didn't get blessing, you didn't get nothing. If you did not get a blessing, my friend, your rear end needs to be in office. Asking God, what have I done wrong? What is hindering between me and you? Because simple fact, when they were saying, I'm saved, I'm saved. I was thinking about something. Some people say, um, you know, like that. Sing, you know what I'm talking about. They drag, start dragging themselves. Go ahead. You know what? If you drag your salvation, you need it. Amen. That's good. I'm, because in fact, if you're in, there's something in if you're if you're if you are let me just say that I'm not gonna say this. <laughs> if you are um if you are uh I'm gonna say this if your best, if your uh, gas tank or vessel is almost in, I know for a fact you got it full this morning. If you did, you got big bad problem. <laughs> Because of the fact there's probably something hindering right. your spiritual being. Mm -hmm. There might be some, like I always state, there might be, and this is what Chris Owen said, there might be some trash or some not so healthy stuff on your spiritual porch. So, my first point, like I said, she came almost in. Like I said, in, uh, she said, my husband has died. You know my husband has died. And I ain't got nothing. Well, if you ain't got Jesus, but pal, you ain't got nothing. And uh, my first, like I said, my first point, she came almost empty. Empty means you had nothing. Uh, almost empty means you got something, but you don't got much. Yeah. Right. My second point is she gathered up the vessel and got along. Third, three and four. Verse three and four. Then he said, Go, he said, Go borrow thine vessels aboard of all thy neighbors. Not a few borrowed from thy neighbors, but uh, near. Even empty vessels. 